Time for us to carry on with Resident Evil 4 Remake. Right, what were we up to? Ah, the cave. We've just deposited the heads. That was that was the thing we'd just done, wasn't it? Let's hope I'm heading the right way. How are we for ammo? For pistol ammo, we're doing pretty well. For health, I'm pretty, pretty not okay. I've got a yellow herb. I could do with a green herb, because then I could get a bit of extra health. I'll hold off. Maybe we'll come across a green herb. Which way have I got to go here? Because... Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, we got the we got the church key, didn't we? We're headed back to the church, which is this way. So, on the boat, let's go. Jesus Christ. And then probably bye bye boat for a while. To be fair, I I'm pretty sure that unless they've added new parts, this will be the only section of the game that we use the boat. I mean, I could go that way, but that's slower. Come on, reverse Leon. Leon, mate, where did you get your boating license? Is that the way I gotta go? No. Round. Go on. Move. Move. Leon, mate. Move. Lovely stuff. Although, actually, that's a lie. There will probably be one more boating bit towards the end of the game. Um, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll get there. Lovely. Uh, do I want to get off here? Or carry on round? Ah, oh, you dick. Um, I think I need to get off... Yeah, I need... I've gone the wrong way. I need to go here. Christ. U-turn! In... It's not a U-boat, but... Oh, okay. There we go. We just bounce off the sides. Fair enough. It's like playing GTA boats. I remember that. It always used to be one of the most fun things to do in the older GTAs and the older Saints Row games, is get on a boat and go exploring. Because you'd find some weird shit. You'd just be out in the middle of the fucking ocean and you'd find a squid. Like a giant squid. Like a Tusio Toothus. Here for my uh, for my arc players out there, just think. My next arc playthrough, whenever that may be, it'll be later this year, will be um, recorded as well properly. Everybody would have loved that when I played through last time. Is this where I want to be? It's definitely where I want to be now. Yes, it is. Good. Right, progression is our friend. Come on, Leon. Me and Leon have been through a lot together over the years. The amount of different games that I've played as Leon in is ridiculous. And every single one of them, Leon is almost a different character. The game's very pretty, though. I'm quite happy with the graphics of the remake. The RE engine's crazy. Especially when the RE engine is like... What? When did Resident Evil 7 come out? Like, the RE engine is not that new anymore. Is it this way? Yeah. I don't remember there being this much backtracking in um, RE4 original. Like, you just always seem to be pushing forwards, which is a bit of a different thing. Right. Um, have you got anything new for me? Why not? Get cash back. When you sell a weapon you've tuned up, you'll get almost all the expenses you put into it back. There's no catch. That is really cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I should do a TikTok about that. Right. Two seconds, boys. So, did you guys know that in Resident Evil 4 Remake, there is almost no penalty for upgrading a weapon, selling it back, and getting the money back? Because... For example, in the original Resident Evil 4 remake, you would hold off on upgrading a weapon because you wanted to save your money for a weapon that you wanted to take towards the end of the game. But in this one, you don't have to do that. You can just upgrade Welcome. the weapons as you want and then sell them back, you know, for pretty much what you paid for, them, which is really fucking cool. Suit your specific needs. <laughs> it's a thing right. 1.5. My punish is at 1.4. So yeah, the, the Red 9 can get fairly strong. But I'm probably going to end up buying the uh, the black tail when it becomes available. What you see is what I. Oh, that was something I was going to do, wasn't it? I was going to sell the caster. Have I already sold the caster? Did I do that? I think I did. Do you much good in yeah. the grave. Oh, let's sell some of this bollocks. You, you, you. So that's another thirty-nine thousand potatoes. Lovely Stranger. stuff. I've got nine of. I'll pay a pretty penny. I've got nine things. Okay. There's some things I need to save up. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I should be saving up. Let's see. I don't know. Is that a new? Sh oh, no, it's not a new shotgun. I was going to say when's the next shotgun. Usually, it's when you get to the castle that you get a new shotgun. Um. Can he cut off? He's properly annoying. What shall I upgrade here? Should I upgrade anything? Your weapons are in good I'm trying to think, and the merchant I'll just doesn't shut up. 
Ammo capacity would give me more ammo. Reload speed. Reload speed might be a good one. Rate of fire is probably quite an important one because of the fact that in this game it feels like the enemies they don't recoil as much so single shot damage is less important it's more about how much damage can you put down range especially seeing as I don't seem to be running low on handgun ammo very often so like rate of fire might be a good move which is why I probably am going to go with the black tail I might even sell the red 9 I don't know because if I'm going to use the black tail then I don't need the red 9 clogging up my inventory we'll sell it, fuck it you can always buy it back I'm pretty sure well struck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can buy it back even after you sold it yeah for double the money, but whatever. 14,000 potatoes isn't going to be very much for very long. Can I upgrade the knife any further? I can repair it, I should repair it. That's good work. See, the power doesn't seem to go... I don't seem to need the power to go up, because all I'm really using the knife for is my parries and things like that. So durability is helpful. I am I'm pretty sure that we're going to get to a certain portion of the game, right? And there's going to be more upgrade slots. I would be, I would be shocked if not. It's a thing of beauty. I just, I just keep saving me money. The shotgun might be worth upgrading. I don't know. Is it worth it? I, I'm so conditioned to want to save my money. Like at the end of the day, I could just sell the weapon and get the money back when I want to. So it's not really a loss. I, I don't think I've got that much shotgun ammo though, have I? Let's go. Let's go with. See, even that reload speed is only 0.10 of an upgrade. That's a bit shit. Hmm. Anyway, I need to finish off that TikTok. Will that be all, then? All right, let's, let's do it. Let's carry on. So, for example, back in the day, oh I would have saved up all of my money shape. to upgrade the Red 9 over, like, anything else. Whereas, now I'm not even sure that's the best move, because it feels like single-shot damage isn't the most important thing in this game. Either way, click the follow button, go sub to my YouTube. There we go. I need to be trying to get like three videos out of every YouTube video, you see. Uh, I guess I'll just save my money and stop Anything fucking around. I can help you with. Like 10,000 to increase the knife's damage by 0.10 is fuck all. Might wanna take care. How's my inventory? I've got plenty of space. I could do with a green herb. What if? Am I right? Are you telling me that I can't come back? Is that what you're saying? Am I a am I hitting a point of no return for this section of the game? I mean that's fair, but either way, we're headed to the church. At least we can get the way shrines. Right. I feel like it's been a while since I've shot anything. Although this is my first time playing today, so yeah, here's another one of those way shrine things. Let's let's uh, see what's in it. Something useful, please. Oh, it's a butterfly lamp. That's strange. You don't typically get those until way, way later in the original Resident Evil 4. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, I don't want to. Fuck off. I know what's about to happen here. This is about to be Mr. Gigantes. What's my ammo looking like? One grenade, nine shotgun rounds, ten rifle rounds. This is bad. I should heal up. Let's heal up. Oh, fuck. That's a gr that's a yellow. I can't use that. Oh no. Right. Here we go. Ain't no way. Yeah, I fucking called it. Shit. Shit is right, Leon. Oh, it's one of them. He's the sort of guy that would appear later. Oh dear. Oh dear. Jesus Christ. I have been dreading this fight for this entire playthrough. Because are you going to be... You're going to be so tanky. I mean, we've got more movement than we used to. You look strange. You've been training some arms. Your arms didn't used to be this big. Run, Leon, run. Wait, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> no. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. Output damage. Let's go. Shit, that was close. Quick scopes. Nope. I bet you I can't parry this guy. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch full videos over there. Oh shit. How do I dodge you? It's not like before where you were slower. Like I used to be able to just run between your legs. Now I get my fucking face booted off. 
Oh, I've been dreading this the entire fucking game because I knew this was going to happen. Grenade. Go. Come on. Drop to a knee. This is going to use all of my ammo for sure. Come on, Leon. Oh, okay. Here we go. You're supposed to drop on one knee when that happens. Where's my dog friend? Ha 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 Fuck you. Right. Get on his back, get on his back, get on his back. This is actually using the durability of my knife. That is not fair. If this is here, that means the cabin fight soon as well. That's going to be a stressful point in time. Here he is. Hello, friend. Hopefully you're really fucking useful. Hey, it's that dog. Hey, it's that dog. You seem to not like being shot in the face. You can put that fucking house down. The fire rate is so shit. Oh, God. How did that not hit me? Give me your Plagas to shoot. Come on, friend. Go on, dog. Oh, yeah. Fucking cripple him. Oh, kick my dog. He's a friend. You little... Come on. Look at that for a charge. This is... Oh, did you just hurt yourself? That's what I'm talking about. Good, boy. Good luck. Good luck. This is so hard to hit. I feel like at some point I should play these third-person RE games on a PC. It would be so much easier to aim. There we go. Get on his back. Come on. Right, this is two. It can't be much more than three. It never normally is. It's got teeth. Sorry, it didn't used to have teeth. I'm running so low on bullets now. There's got to be ammo scattered around this arena. Oh, again. Okay, this should finish it off, surely. Three is typically the charm. that it? Are we square? I mean, I didn't die. I didn't die, lads. That went fairly smoothly. What, did he hit me twice? A yellow diamond. I wish they'd give me more straight-up useful things. Okay. Now, again, typically there'd be a yellow herb here. I only have nine angled ammo now. Restock me, boys. Five, five, ten. That's twenty rounds. Resources. There's the green herb I needed. 20? Okay. They are they are indeed restocking me. Is that the only loot around here, though? What's through here? There's only one way to find out. A velvet blue. I'm not looking forward to later in the game. Because that is not the only one of those we're going to fight. The El Gigantes. There's some boxes. Hopefully the boxes have got some bullets for us in. 5, Red Herb, 25. Whoo, they're treating me. 3 shotgun shells, 2 rifle ammo, gunpowder, another knife. I've come out of here with more ammo than I came in with. I'm dead happy. At least they're, like, compensating me for my efforts. What is the... It says there's loot. I am... I'm disagreeable. Is it this way? Yeah, it says there's treasure. What treasure? Is it a hanging... Yeah, it's a hanging thing. A ruby. Okay. Well. Well. He's down. Let's move forward, shall we? Okay. Um, which way is forwards? That way? Yes. Although, no. Because we're headed back to the church. So, this way. Yes. Cool. Actually, we're at 15 minutes. This seems like a decent point to end the video. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.